name is Sandra Apple Aldridge. I'm very interested in family history, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Apple side of my family. Okay, this is a um, Caswell County Heritage book that was written several years ago, and um, there is information in here about different families in Caswell County, and my second great-grandfather is listed in here, and his name was Elijah Apple. Um, Elijah was born in 1840, and he had a tobacco plantation out um, on Ashland Road, and he um, also fought in the Civil War with uh, General Lee and the Army of Northern Virginia. But my grandfather was very religious, and he is based on religious grounds. He was vehemently opposed to slave labor, and so therefore he used no slave labor on his plantation. He used his children, and he had quite a few of those, and hired hands. Um, so I'm really proud of him because of that time frame. Um, he served, and when he came home, he walked all the way home from Richmond because he couldn't find transportation to get back home to Castle County. And he actually slept at a church the night before he went to his family. And when he got home, because his clothes were so tattered and he had lice, he asked no one to touch him and they um, got a hot bath outside and he took a hot bath and they burned his clothing. And he went on to be a very prosperous tobacco farmer and had several children and um, I'm a descendant of him and I'm very proud of him for his religious beliefs. Uh, history is very important to me because I think we need to know where we came from and who we are and how we've arrived at today and because of those generations that is who we are. Um, they passed down the legacy of love and in my family the legacy of the love of Christ, um, generations and generations. In conclusion, don't be afraid to dig into your history that you might find something you don't like. You know, none of us are perfect. And again, um, let's don't be so hard and judge our ancestors because they were doing the very best they could. And we need to wonder 100 years from now when they're researching you, what's interesting about you? So maybe you could leave some photos and maybe you could talk to your family members and tell them stories. I urge people now, if you have older living relatives, go talk to them about even simple things like where did you go to school? Because years from now, if you don't ask the questions, those answers are going to be lost forever.